Are you dealing with knee pain when squatting? You're trying to find some ways you can continue to train without further aggravating your pain. My name is Dr. Jeff Lewis. I'm going to show you today several exercise modifications that I use to help continue training the lower body for individuals with knee pain without further aggravating their symptoms. So again, knee pain, especially when squatting, I see it a lot in either, really in any population, whether it's CrossFit, runners, or you know, especially in the athletic population, football, baseball players, anyone that trains lower body, not uncommon for you, for you to see this at times. It could be just some very general anterior front of the knee pain. That's mainly what I'm talking about at this point here. People that have some more like back of the knee pain, it's going to be a little bit different way that we maybe go about that, um, you know, depending on whether it's patellofemoral issues, meniscal issues. It can really depend on, on a couple different scenarios, but I'm going to show you today three of the main modifications that I make in these populations so we can continue to train lower body. So first thing is going to be a TKE, which stands for terminal knee extension. Especially whenever there's swelling in the knee, one of the things we want to make sure we're training from the get-go is continuing that quad strength work. The stronger that quad is, the more it's going to help pump out any swelling that's throughout that knee. One of the first things, especially you take anyone that's had major knee surgery, whether it's as you know significant as ACL surgery or even something as just a meniscus scope, there's going to be some knee, so, some swelling, effusion in that knee after surgery. And one of the first things we try to do, because it's the hardest to do, is get that quad back. Once you get swelling in that knee, it essentially shuts down the quad and it can cause a lot of problems down the line. So the TKE, you're going to want to take a resistance band and you could go, to, it could vary depending on the resistance, but you want to have enough, enough of a thick resistance enough of a band you're going to step in the band like so the band is going to go right behind the back of your knee now for some people that are already very sensitive to just knee flexion i'm going to have them keep their heel on the ground the entire time here okay so again we're going to be here foot stays on the ground the whole time the knee is really just slightly unlocking and then you're pushing that knee straight back so you don't want to be bent forward you want to stay upright you should not really feel this in the glute it should be primarily all just the front of that quad down here now, as someone gets more comfortable, you can then have them come on the knee, heel comes down, pushing the knee back. You're just getting a little bit more exposure to some knee flexion. And again, it really just depends on how bothersome or irritated it is. All right, so that's the first variation. The second variation is going to be a Spanish squat, which allows us to get a little bit more depth more than anything. And a lot of times with patients with pain on the front of their knee, it's not as much the amount of knee flexion. It, it is, but it's not as much the amount of knee flexion as it is how much that knee is tracking over the toe. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, your knees should not go past your toes when you squat. Yeah, they need to go past your toes when you squat. That's how you squat. It's more just a matter of at certain times in injuries, certain things are a little more irritable than not. So in these cases, I like to cue for a more vertical shin. So it's going to be a much more of a hip dominant movement, but you're still going to get some exposure to that knee flexion like we're going to see here. So you can either, if you have two different bands that's of the same band like this, that's great, or you just use one thick resistance band. So you're going to step in with both feet. Band is going to go around the back of your knee for both of them here. And then you're just going to step back so you have enough tension here. Your job essentially now is you're sitting back, and you can use something to hold on if you need to, but you're sitting back. So as you can see, my shin is pretty vertical. I'm not very forward like this. It's pretty vertical. I should, you should really feel this primarily in the glutes, standing up tall, and then you're doing that TKE again. So you're pushing back against that band, sitting back, pushing back against that band, sitting back, pushing against that band. The reason I like having one band too is because when you have both legs out of this, it's going to almost want to pull you in. So you have to get a little bit of some abduction cueing as well, keep your knee in a solid position. All right, so that's the first version. Once someone is pretty comfortable to do double leg work and I'm feeling confident that they can start to do a little bit of single leg work, we're going to start to add in a reverse lunge with, again, a very vertical shin. So it's not going to be a lunge where I'm very like knee forward like this. It's going to be much more where I'm stepping back and you can see it's much more of a hip dominant movement more than anything. And my shin's pretty vertical, standing up tall. And what I'll say is you don't have to go straight down to the ground right away. You can gradually increase the depth. But what it would look like with some weight, I'm going to be here. I'm going to step back. I might just start there at first. Push up. Majority of my weight is in that, is in that front leg. In terms of doing the injured leg as your back leg, just be mindful of it. For some people, it might not feel too good just the way that there's 
going to be a good amount of compression on that knee when it's back. And if that's the case and you only do the injured leg as the front leg where you're stepping down, primarily moving to the hip and standing up. What a progression for that would look like when we want to get more of a angled shin is you're just having your body a little bit more forward and standing up. So those are three ways that I like to train the lower body, specifically get some quad, quad work in and people that are having knee pain with squatting. So if you have questions about how you can get back to squatting or just your knee pain in general, leave a question below in the comments section or text the number below and we'll get back to you with some ways that we can help you with a personalized plan.